So guys, whenever we talk about working in Canada on a work permit, which means hiring a temporary foreign national worker, then if you would obviously come across uh, the usual requirement of uh, an LMIA, which is a labor market impact assessment. And whenever we talk about an LMIA, that means there are wages in place where there is a certain wage that is approved by ESDC at what the temporary foreign worker can be hired. So today's news is extremely important because the ESDC has recently made uh, drastic changes in the uh, median hourly wages. And this goes by different provinces having different wages. And this is extremely important if you are an aspirant uh, for a national worker or if you are an employer in Canada as well, because this could very well mean the difference between a high wage or a low wage LMIA. And yes, both the programs have very different set of requirements. So guys, in this video today, we will talk about the change in wages with regards to ESDC for LMIAs. And also very recently, uh, the Canadian government had declared changes in the uh, hourly wages, the minimum wage of Canada as well. So we will cover both the news in this video today. So if you are interested in moving to Canada, then please be sure to watch the video till the end. My name is Sahil. So guys, welcome back. Once again, my name is Sahil and I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and I practice here in Ontario. My office is here. If you have to get in touch with me, my number is on the screen and the details are there in the description box. More than happy to speak with you. Before we proceed any further, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because we talk a lot about Canadian immigration. And if you are an aspirant of moving to Canada, then this is a channel that you must be subscribed to all the time. So guys, we are discussing the change in wages when it comes to LMIAs and also uh, the recent change in the federal minimum wage with regard to Canada. First, let's look at the LMIA because that's usually one of the most important areas of interest for people who are thinking of moving to Canada on work permits. Now, overall, whenever you, you talk about applying for a work permit, more than usually, people are required to apply for an LMIA or rather obtain an LMIA from their employer. In the LMIA processing part, the employers are usually, uh, you know, put across this question that what is the minimum wage or the hourly wage that you would be offering the temporary foreign worker. That particular wage amount decides on whether the LMIA is going to be a high wage LMIA or a low wage LMIA. Usually, a high wage LMIA has no uh, overburdened requirements, for example, um, no requirements of housing, any such movement to and fro tickets and anything. But then the employer has to shell out money more than the low wage, which is beyond a certain cutoff, which we will just uh, discuss. Whenever you talk about a low wage LMIA, chances of a low wage LMIA are decent enough, but the employer has to meet the caps. So there is a different cap usually up to 20% after the recent changes, but the employer cannot hire more than a specific percentage of their workforce, more than the capped amount. Also, uh, under a low wage LMIA, the employer would be generally required to offer services like, for example, intermediary housing, uh, additional insurance till the time person is covered by the provincial insurance, and then to and fro tickets to the country from where the person is being hired for and stuff like that. And the scrutiny for a low wage LMIA is taking a lot of time more than the high wage. We recently submitted a high wage LMIA and a low wage LMIA for the same employer at the same time rather. And then uh, the high wage LMIA got processed within nine days, whereas the low wage LMIA is still under processing. So um, just coming to what the change has been by ESDC. Now, ESDC is the department, which is Employment Social Employment and Social Development Canada, which deals with LMIAs, the processing, technically Service Canada. So here they have talked about the changes that have come in. Now, the changes are effective as of uh, April 2nd, 2024. For Alberta, you can see that there is approximately close to a dollar change, a little less than that. $28.85 has gone up to $29.50. Now, please note that this is the median wage, okay? Low wage is usually in this described by uh, the NOC code. So you would you would go to the NOC code and see what kind of a low wage would the person be offering. But then generally, Alberta is required to give anything above $29.50 would be a high wage. Anything below $29.50, even one cent less will be a low wage. So British Columbia has gone up to 28.85, Manitoba has gone up to 25, uh, 
uh, Manitoba, as you can see, has gone the maximum change. It's approximately one dollar and uh, six cents. New Brunswick again one dollar and four cents, gone up to twenty four dollars. Then you have twenty five dollars going up to twenty six in NFL, and then thirty nine twenty four, which is the maximum uh, in Northwest Territories. Then Nova Scotia uh, has gone up to one dollar and three cents. Nunavut again uh, has gone down by ninety four cents. And then you can see uh, uh, twenty seven dollars in Ontario, which is by far the you know the province where a lot of people want to come, has gone up by a dollar and thirty nine cents. This is a max hike. Uh, then another one dollar and fifty cents for PEI. This is again uh, you know pretty steep. Uh, Quebec is also there twenty seven forty seven. Then Saskatchewan for you know about say seventy eight cents I think yes, and then one dollar for Yukon as well. So this is pretty much the the change that has happened. So anybody who's submitting an LMIA in the coming time, anybody who's submitting less than these amounts will be doing uh, a low wage LMIA, and anybody submitting more than this will be doing a high wage LMIA. Now, as far as the federal minimum wage goes, the federal minimum wage has also been hiked by close to sixty uh, five cents. Um, the uh, News was released on March twenty first, so this has been quite some time. But starting first of April, and then ESDC started second of April, so closely followed. As per the three point nine percent increase in the Canada's annual wage, as per the CPI, sixty um, five cents has been raised across all the provinces. The minimum wage will be sixteen sixty five has gone up to seventeen dollars and thirty cents, and is now in effect. the government has always done this uh, you know based on the inputs that when uh, that are given by the consumer price index so changes are in line with the you know with the uh, with the growth or the inflation all put together in the country and is definitely in the favor of the workers here in canada guys i hope the news that was shared today gave you much insights into what's happening in the world of canadian immigration if you have anything to discuss with us please feel free to schedule a consultation and we would be more than happy to speak with you also if you haven't subscribed yet please feel free to subscribe to the channel like the videos and share with anybody and everybody who's interested in moving to canada guys i wish you all the best and i really hope to see you soon in canada all the best <laughs>